I think one of the ways in which uh, praying for people um, has helped me share Jesus is that actually when you begin to pray for people, you begin to pray into what you are hoping for them to uh, either experience or for some of their needs or for what they have asked you to pray for. And then of course when you see them, you, you talk to them and say, how's it going? And, and then when they raise a question, you can say, well, yeah, for me, this is why Jesus is important. Or um, this is what Jesus has helped me understand. So I guess one of the key things about praying for others is that it, you don't pray for how to share Jesus. You pray for them because you're concerned for them and you want to see something happen in their lives. And that's the basis then upon which you can actually um, share something about Jesus. So th that's a slightly different way of, of looking at it, I hope. Uh, and, and that's why praying for people is a good way of preparing to share Jesus uh, and what he means for you and what he might mean for other people. Uh, the, the odd thing about seeing God's power at work in your life is that sometimes you don't recognise that God's been at work in your life until much later. And then, if something's happened over a long period of time, you recognise both the power of what's been happening and the fact that it was God at work in your life. But only when you reflect back. So, sometimes that, that happens about the most obvious things. Um, so one of the things that's happened to me is the significance of certain people being personal tutors in my life who've had a very long-term and powerful impact uh, and the way that they have been personally supportive of me has changed my attitude to other people and then you you know I've come to realize that that's actually the way God has been doing things in, in my life so I've had the benefit of some very wonderful personal tutors who in being great personal support to me have actually shown me what God's like. And that's had a long-term impact on my life. So that, that's a very personal thing and it's, and it's in, in a particular area. But it's an example for me of, of, of God's powerful engagement in my life through other people and a, a way of his engagement that's really changed me and made a difference and meant that I tried to relate to other people in, in, in a similar way. <laughs> How has God changed your life? Oh gosh, um, God's changed my life. I, I, I hope God's changed my life. Um, some people might wish it changed me more, but um, uh, I think the best people to, to talk with about how God has changed your life are, of course, your family. Because they know what you were like before, and they now know what you're like as you are. And, um, you know, especially when you're a bishop, your family are really important. Because they don't treat you as though you're a bishop. They treat you as though you're their dad or, you know husband and and so they tell it as it is and um, they say things like well you never used to be like that but we're really glad you like this now or yeah we we've, we've seen a bit of a change in, in your life and uh, we like it we think you're going to make a nice granddad or something like that so uh, I guess it's um, in that personal area that obviously uh, some of these changes are, are most clear. Um, how has God changed my life in other ways? I think I've had the extraordinary privilege of um, being involved with Christians across the world and meeting Christians from other cultures who see things differently and they make you realise that you've got a very particular view of the world that isn't necessarily shared by other people from other parts of the world. 
And they've changed my life. And God's changed me through them. And put simply, I guess, in relation to Jesus, you only know the Jesus you know when you know the Jesus that other people know. Because Jesus is always bigger than you imagine. And that becomes clear when you get to know the Jesus that other people worship and follow and talk about.